early start for Manchester United, Harvey Neville. Just looking for that percentage ball, but giving away. Here is Thanawat. Wakeland coming into a central position. On target, of course, took his goal well against Tramir Rovers last week, and Harvey Neville just has to clear his lines, which he does. Darrett O'Connor just trying to shepherd that one out, but it ends up on the roof just over us. And it will be a throw into Manchester United to be taken by Harvey Neville, who goes back to Wilfish. Then his goalkeeper, Matty Kovar. Given away, though. And now there might be a chance. Yeah. And we've got the early goal. Early breakthrough, and Callum Wright profiting from a mistake at the back from Manchester United. Too casual in their attempts to clear the lines and the breakthrough inside 60 seconds. Well, here it is. Fish back to his goalkeeper, Kovar. Then the attempted clearance. Oh, way too casual, playing it blind. Wakeland it was who teed at Callum Wright. And there's the opening goal, Jerry. Yeah. Great pressure from Leicester City there, right at the beginning. That's twice in quick succession. They put Manchester United uh, under pressure. They haven't been able to, to deal with it, as you say. Kovar, the keeper. Bit of a shocker, you have to say. Well, that. So much to challenge on. Fish on this near side. Both sides are peeling for it. It will go the way of the young foxes, by the way. Good work from Thanouet. Can I get something out of this? There's the cutback. Oh, and it's gone straight through. Well, it's Thanouet initially who's done all the hard work down this left-hand side. Let's just have a look again. Here he is, twisting and turning, makes his way into the box. Wakeling it was who'd come to the near post area. Well, Matty Kovar, he has not covered himself in glory in the opening, what, 13 minutes. Casual ball out, which set up the opener. That's a poor decision from the keeper. He's just you got know, his angles wrong there, Jerry, hasn't he? I think. Golden rule is protect your near post. If he protects his near post, it's an easy pick-up, as it was. Uh, it was a, I suppose it was a, cr a, a cross from Tanawat. Yep, cut out by Fish. Challenge came in from Flynn. One back by Tanawat. That's a good ball to Ali Regba. Flag stays down. Trying to get bodies into the box here. Given away, though, by Ali Regba. Actually done the hard part there. Now there could be a break on. Hannibal has a langer. That's the ball. And he's quick. And he's into the box. Can he get a shot away? He does. And it's gone in off the post. And all of a sudden, Manchester United have a lifeline from one end of the pitch to the other. Well... Might be some fingers pointed here as well, because that's come from a Leicester City attack. Hannibal with Monte Daly Campbell trying to get back. Good spot and indeed a calm finish from Anthony Alanga to half the deficit. And it's Leicester City under 23s two, Manchester United under 23s one. Yeah, again, they've just got stretch at the back. I think they were left two on two there. But there was a gap that Hannibal had in that midfield, the middle third of the pitch when he was found. Anthony Alanga. Now Hannibal. Here's Harvey Neville. Neville with the ball in, and Manchester United will find an equaliser through Anthony Alanga just before the break. Oh, pure frustration but they've worked it down this right-hand side. And all of a sudden, they're back on terms. Hannibal with the outball it was to Harvey Neville, and they're queuing up here. But Elanga right on the spot to send that one past Jacob Stalarczyk. Well, who would have thought this scoreline at half-time? Yeah, well, again, you know, Manchester United almost had nothing. And Hannibal on the ball again. Lovely way to pass into the, into the path of Harvey Neville. Good first touch from him, good ball across the box, but no one picking up in the box. Monte Daly Campbell needs to have a look over his right shoulder. Alanga, the danger man. Shola Shoratire might go alone here. Shane Flynn gets back, somehow manages to get his big toe on that and then wins the free kick. So he's done well with the recovery challenge. It was just opening up, wasn't it, for Shola Shoratire? Thought he was going to get his shot away here, the Manchester United number seven. 
Well, I just thought he, he just had too many touches, as you say, Flint, and then Escha Bella comes in. But really, he's got to play a square ball there for me to Hannibal. Oh, wait, Clint, it might be in. Kilp will give us off his line if this goes in. Oh, what about that for a finish? What about that for a goal? Jake Wakelin. Talk about technique to beat Matty Kovar. Oh, I'll enjoy this moment. Well, he was on target last Wednesday. Have a look at where this goal starts from as well. Manchester United just don't deal with it. But what about that for a finish? Terrific technique. Mengi just trying to apply a bit of late pressure, but it was too late. And Jake Wakelin. Goodness me. What about that for a finish? No wonder he's smiling. <laughs> yeah, well, take nothing away from Jake. Well, that's a quality finish. And he's had a lively start up front, you have to say. Makatea to Kanye Yashabella. Hannibal still protesting that. They thought it was handball, but shaking the head from referee Rob Whitten. Casey Makatea. Callum Wright. Wakelin is in there. And here's a chance for Thanawat. Surely. It is a goal for Thanawat Swain Chitawan, whether he's got a final touch on this. But they will go 4 2 up ahead in this game. Callum Wright with the delivery. Superb ball in from the right hand side. Have a look at this. Stood up nicely. And then Thanawat Swain Chitawan with a lovely steered finish beyond Matty Kovar. Fish it was who won the first header but it's fallen kindly into the path of Thanawat Swenchitawan on target last week against Tranmere. And a light left-footed drive. Yeah, there was just a bit of a nick, wasn't there, off mm. Harvey Neville. And th the flight of the ball just looked to change, didn't it, Jerry? But take nothing away from him. That is a tremendous goal. Yeah, well worked goal again. Lovely little flight of ball. And for me, it's all about the pressure from Wakeling.